Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Redstone Nyx here and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do fireproof item commands in Minecraft. And what I mean by it is that these commands will allow you to give yourself items that have the same protective properties as netherite, which they can't be burned in fire or lava. And there is also an item that can give it to items that don't have it. And now, before I go into more details on what those commands are to making this work, you know the drill. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that guys, let's begin today's video. Okay guys, so here are all the commands right here, so it's just a couple of commands into making this all work out. And, as always, all of these commands here will be in the description down below so you guys can copy and paste them into your world later on. Now, let us begin. So first off, as always, I'm going to demonstrate how this works. So we're going to start with the items that have the fireproof property on them. So we're going to start off with this diamond right here, which has the fireproof tag on it. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So let me just get myself a normal diamond just to show you. So in this one right here is the one that can burn in lava and this one cannot. So watch, this is a normal diamond burning in lava. As you see here, pretty standard stuff. And now I'm gonna throw in this one. And as you can see, look at that. The diamond did not burn in lava. It's floating above ground. Sorry, I'm floating above the lava, which is very nice indeed. And I got it with an emerald, eye of ender, and another star. So as you see, in a few seconds, they're just going to float above the lava, just like so. So no more of worrying about accidentally burning your items in lava or having them fall in lava ever again. And like I said, same thing applies if they get put in fire as well. In either regular fire or salt fire. It doesn't matter. So now before we get into what's over there, let me go over the commands into getting you these kind of items right here. Starting with the diamond. So what you need to do is, it's a standard slash give command, give at P, Minecraft golden diamond, but you need to put in brackets and then you put in fire underscore resistant equals and then put three squiggly brackets like this with one at the end. So yeah, technically the right term is fire resistant, but I would still like to call it fireproof because, well, they're immune to being burnt in fire and lava. And it's pretty much the exact same thing for all these items right over here. Pretty standard stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to what's over here. So I got this special item called the fireproof item sprayer. So what this does is, I'm gonna grab some gold real quick. What this does, it automatically makes any items that aren't fireproof, well, fireproof. Oh, and I want to make one other quick note here that these commands only work for non-netherite items, so netherite stuff are not affected by any of these commands at all, so just wanna put that out there. Okay, so back to this, so let's say I drop a golden ingot on the ground, so then you need to right click with the fireproof item sprayer. And as you can see, you get the flame particles. And once that's done, you can toss it into lava or fire and they will not burn with ease. And you can do this with even a stack of items at once. And it will still work. Just like so. Very nice indeed. And let's say for some reason you don't want them to be fireproofed anymore. Well, lucky for you, this sprayer also has a reverse mode. So all you gotta do is put the items on the ground once again, and put this in your offhand, and then right click. And as you can see, you get the smoke particles instead. And then when you try tossing them into lava or fire again... Nope. Whoops. Nope. They will burn in lava, just like that is pretty nice indeed so if you don't want to give yourself the items already with the fireproof tag you can use this item to do it to your current items instead okay so now that you've seen that let's go over the commands into making this fireproof item sprayer work so be back in a sec 
A few moments later. Okay, guys, so first things first, we need a scoreboard command into making this all work out. Starting with this one. So it's scoreboard objectives, add, and then you do fire underscore proof underscore item, and then you do minecraft.used colon minecraft.warped underscore fungus underscore on underscore a underscore stick right here. And then this command simply removes that scoreboard if needed. So now we're going to move on to these commands right here, which activate the fireproof item sprayer. Starting with this one, which activates the scoreboard. So it's execute if entity at P, and inside brackets we do MBT equals, inside color brackets we do selected item colon ID colon, Minecraft colon warped underscore fungus underscore on underscore A underscore stick right here. And then we do count to colon one, and inside we do components, in which we put the fire resistant tag right over here. And then we do comma custom underscore data, and then we put this custom data tag called fire underscore proof underscore items colon one B right here. Then we do this. Run, execute as at R at S, if at C at S, and inside brags we do scores equals, inside curly brags we do fire underscore proof underscore item equals one, two dots at the end, close both brackets, and then we do run scoreboard player set at E, and inside brags we do scores equals, inside curly brackets we do the same thing, fire underscore proof underscore item equals one, close both brackets, and then put that same scoreboard name here with zero at the end here. Oh, and by the way, this was for if it was in your main hand. Okay, so now we're moving on to the command that gives the item the fire resistant component when that item is on the ground. So it's execute at P, run data merge entity at E, and inside brackets we do type equals Minecraft item, comma distance equals 0 dot dot 3, and then we do mbt equals on ground colon one b sort equals nearest limit equals one and inside curly brackets we do item colon inside not curly brackets components and then you do colon here and then you do minecraft colon fire underscore resistant and then close all these brackets right over here and this command right here creates a small flame particle explosion effect. So it's execute at P, run execute at E, and inside brackets we do type equals item, distance equals 0 dot dot 3, mbt equals on ground colon 1b, mbt equals, and then we put the fire resistant tag right over here, sort equals nearest, limit equals 1, and then we do this run particle minecraft colon flame three squiggly lines like this and then you do 0.25 four times like you see here and then you do 500 at the end here now these three commands over here will pretty much activate when the fireproof item sprayer is in your offhand starting with this one which will activate the scoreboard if the item is in your offhand so same thing as the last command that i showed you except we have to change a few things so you need to put slot colon negative 106 b right over here which is the slot for your offhand and then the rest is exactly the same as you see here And then this command here is the exact same thing, except we need to come over here. And then you need to add the MBT equals, which is the item component fire resistant. So it detects only items with this tag. And then we just need to do the same thing here, except instead of putting two curly brackets at the end here, you have to put zero right here and then close all brackets. And then this command over here simply creates the smoke particle explosion effect. 
So exactly the same thing as the last one, except we need to change this part. So you might want to put an exclamation mark in front of the fire resistant tag part right over here to pretty much only do it for items that do not have the fire resistant tag. And then you do particle Minecraft colon smoke, three squiggly lights like this, and then the numbers are exactly the same as you see here. Pretty standard stuff. And yeah, that is pretty much fireproof item commands in Minecraft. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next week in the next one. Goodbye.